Hey everybody, it's Kenny Cummins here, Triple Threat Wrestling Radio, and it has been quite a while since I've last done an interview of Inti Kind, and I'm happy to be joined with Eliza right here, right now. How's it going? It's going. <laughs> so you are just, you know, getting ready for training and everything, and I want to thank you for taking some time um, to do this Brief interview, I appreciate it. No problem, my pleasure. So, uh, we'll go and get into it. Um, how did you get started as a wrestler? Well, it's something that I've always been interested in. Um, when I was little, I used to watch WWF with my grandmother. She had the biggest crush on The Undertaker. So, she always made sure to tune in every week to watch him. And... I had two older brothers growing up, so naturally there was a little bit of horseplay, but uh, it's just always been something that kind of followed me through my life, and the opportunity came up to learn, so I jumped on in the ring. So when you was watching as a a young child, uh, who were some of the wrestlers that stood out to you as a fan that made you want to become a wrestler, per se? Um, Undertaker is one of them, definitely, because just larger than life. Just that persona, as soon as his entrance music starts, you know he's in the room. Um, another one was Rey Mysterio. I've always loved watching Rey Mysterio, uh, bouncing across the ropes, and I'm not quite at that level yet, but one day I hope to be. <laughs> It's just truly amazing how how far Ray Mysterio has come, you know, since the ECW and WCW days, and he's still going to this day, and still being able to do the moves that he done like 15 years ago. It's just a testament of <clears throat> him staying in good shape and and you know whatever that he's doing. To make sure that he's mm-hmm. still being able to do these maneuvers is something special. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So for you as a you know as a wrestler, in ring performer, get to perform in front of the crowd and everything. Um, what was the first match that you ever had? Who was your opponent, and how did you felt like going into the match per se? Um, actually, my first match, I didn't know I was going to be having it until I was in there. Um, I, I've been a referee at my school's promotion for a while now, and I got in the ring. I was supposed to ref a match between, uh, Dynamite Didi and Gabrielle Arce, the Belle of the Brawl, and Dynamite Didi didn't show up, so Gabrielle was trash talk in the crowd and she was waiting in the ring for her opponent and when nobody showed up I went ahead and challenged her mm, okay you know the element of surprise you know got <laughs> I like that I like that so um you know for you how do you feel as a performer you know as you know you out there competing right now and things like that and what are, what are some things that you look forward to the most as a performer is it the fan interaction going in there having a match what what excites you the most as a performer um i'd have to say a little bit of everything it's it's just the overall atmosphere it gets so charged um because you've got the crowd going, and when they get really riled up, it's it's just so easy to get caught up in that energy. When you get in the ring, the adrenaline starts flowing, so now you're you're ready for your fight, and just the whole thing, like the crowd cheering behind you, it's just an amazing experience. That's absolutely true. You know, just that adrenaline when your music plays and. You're getting ready to go for, you know, go through that curtain. 
and to see the fans' reaction when you come out is is definitely something that you know gets you hyped. And I'm very sure a lot of wrestlers, including yourself, you know, will get the butterflies, you know, beforehand. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> but but once once that music plays and once that bell rings, it I think for a lot of people, those nerves, those butterflies go away real quick, and you can just go out there and um, and perform. Um, so what are some upcoming shows that um, fans out there need to keep an eye on that you're going to be a part of? Right now, I'm mostly sticking at my home promotion. Um, I haven't really gotten many bookings outside yet. Next month, I will be going up to Tennessee to film some customs at the end of the month. So that's for a promotion called Magnificent Ladies of Wrestling. Um, if you look it up, you can book matches with different talent and kind of play a show promoter where you set up your own matches and then we we go through and, and we record them and then they get put up on the website for purchase afterwards. Um, my home promotion, we actually have our big third year slash 100th episode show coming up at the end of this month. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's awesome. Congratulations on the promotions milestone for 100 episode. That's awesome. And I am familiar with MLOW. I have linked up with them from the beginning. And um, I like the concept of custom wrestling when a fan gets to book the match and, you know, come up with the script and the outcome and things like that. Because, you know, so many fans watch TV and be like, man, I could book a match better than that. Well, <laughs> you can put your money where your mouth is for, for MLW. Exactly. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see if you can uh, back up all that jibber jabber fans out there <laughs> um <laughs> and it, i love mlow I'm, I'm a i'm a supportive customer for their product they do a, a good job as always um so shout out to oh De yeah shout out to destiny she's in charge of the company she's cool she's good peoples um she's amazing so you got your own you know matches and and everything i want to ask you from a fan standpoint, you know, woman wrestling is continuing to grow and evolve. And there's a lot to look forward to, obviously. Obviously, a lot of people are talking about the potential main event for WrestleMania mm -hmm. between Wanda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. A lot has been going on between these three women not just in the wing, but social media, especially oh, between yeah. Becky and Wanda. I mean, at this point, this match has to be the main event. I mean, this there's just no other match on the card <laughs> right now or in the foreseeable future that you can convince me that that woman match ain't going to be the quote-unquote main event. It's never happened in WrestleMania history. It's bound to happen. You just have to have the, the, the pieces together. And we got them. From you mm -hmm. as, a, as a wrestler and as a fan, how do you feel about the possibility of witnessing a woman's main event on the grandest stage of them all? I'm really excited for it. Um, the last few years, there's been such a great push for women wrestlers, uh, especially in the WWE. It's it's come a long way since the diva days. <laughs> and it's definitely coming in a good direction. Um, it's really focusing on athleticism and talent now. And there's just so much talent in the indie roster and in, in the professional roster. I can't wait to see. I really hope they do set that up as the main event because it's going to be exciting. I feel like while WWE fans don't agree on every single thing, you know, for whatever reason, this is the one thing I think majority 
will agree on that this has to be the main event. No disrespect to Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar. Well, mostly disrespect to Brock, but that's near the old man. <laughs> no, no knock on Daniel Bryan and quite possibly Kofi Kingston, who I am hoping he can get through that oh, gauntlet yeah. match and get in and get that opportunity that he truly deserves. But this woman's revolution is just continues to evolve, and they've done just about everything up to this point, and. For 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 the for that match to be in the main event on the grandest stage of the mall, I mean you can't get any higher than that. So no, it's just this this is big. You know I mean Charlotte? You got the top three women that WWE has, and you know right in front of you at the palm of your hand. There's just no other way. There's just no other way. No other <laughs> match that that you can say. That will be the main event at Mania. But, you know, with WWE, anything could happen between now and then. So, we'll see what happens. But, you got to make this the main event. <laughs> if you're going to screw everything. Yeah. If you're going to screw everything is up for the next three hours of WrestleMania, at least get this one right. <laughs> <laughs> We, we're not saying... Is it only three hours? I thought it was higher than that at this well, point. Well it, well, it, well, it was four. I think that kind of made it five hours last year, maybe. Um, but I'm just saying for the majority, like, if if, you, <laughs> if you're going to screw up for four some hours, at least get this one right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, and before I let you go, why don't you go ahead and... um. Promote your social media feeds. Where can people get in touch with you and keep track of your wrestling career? Uh, well, I am on Instagram and Facebook right now. I haven't really branched out into YouTube yet, but I'm hoping to get there eventually. My Instagram is Eliza.Skyler.900. Um, Skyler's spelled a little funny. It's S C. H U Y L E R. And you can find me under Eliza Schuyler on Facebook. Um, also, go ahead and follow the Go Wrestle page on Facebook. You'll be seeing some media from me on there as we put up pictures and recordings from the show. Uh, go Wrestle.com. I have a free match actually up there in our free section right now that you guys can go and check out. I'm very sure um, a lot of people are going to check that out. Hopefully, Twitter, um, Facebook, or Instagram in particular get their acts together. Uh, because for the last 24 hours, people were losing their minds. Because I know. It was like, I, I, I posted maybe one or two things, and I didn't even notice it. Like, I noticed people's reaction, but... I, I, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't on as much as everyone else was, but yeah, people were losing their minds. It's like the end of the, <laughs> it was like an apocalypse of social media before you know it. Um, and um, MySpace, this would never happen to MySpace. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this, this would never. So, Tom, man, Tom, if you still exist at this point, props to you. Zuckerberg and whoever's in charge of Instagram, get your acts together. That's all I got to say. Uh, Eliza, <laughs> it was great chatting with you. Thank you so much for taking this time and doing this interview. Um, best of success goes out to you and uh, and your training. And I look forward to seeing more of you uh, in the future. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in for this interview on Triple Threat Wrestling Radio, Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern on TMVCafe.com. For Eliza, I am Kenny Cummings. We're signing off.